So one more example to look at here. A taco shop sells a mean number of 421 tacos a day with a standard deviation of 28. Each taco sells for $2.80. Find the expected sales and the standard deviation of the sales for the day. So already I know I'm talking about 421 tacos, but I'm looking for sales. That's a change of units from tacos to dollars, so I know I can use given formula. So let's think about what we've got here. My, ex my random variable here is the tacos, and the mean number of tacos is 421 tacos. My variance, well, I have to figure out what my variance is from my standard deviation. So the variance of x is going to be equal to tw 28 squared. That's your standard deviation squared. Okay, Standard deviation of 28 tacos. And I'm going to square that for my variance. So, I want to know the number of sales here, the expected sales and the standard deviation of sales. So what I'm looking at here is a situation here where I'm looking for the expected value, $2.80 times the number of tacos. There's not a plus term here like there was in the question above where we also had an additional $25 a day. Here we're just looking at straight tacos, no extra constant added on to it, so it's just the $2.80. And this is going to be for sales. I guess, sorry, I might change that. You can probably write this in on the side. Sales, that's the $2.80 times the number of tacos that are sold. So using our formula, if you go back up and look, E times the number of $2.80 per taco is going to be $2.80 times the number of tacos, and there's no constant in this question, so we can ignore the B. So that just becomes $2.80 times E of X, which is $2.80 times 421 tacos, which is going to be 1178 80, and this is now dollars. So the expected sales is 1,100, sorry, 1,178.80 um, cents. Now my variance, again, here you've got an interesting situation where you've got to remember to square it. So for the expected value, you just times it, but for the variance, you have to square it. So the variance of the sales. It's going to be equal to the variance of $2.80 times the expected value there, or the random, var random variable variance. And this is going to become $2.80 squared times the variance of x. So that's $2.80 squared times the variance of x is 28 squared. I haven't changed that to a number yet. It's still just 28 squared. So when I do that, $2.80 times 28 squared, I get 6,141. But remember, that's your variance of the sales. And I want to know my standard deviation. So this is the part where you have to remember to convert back. So standard deviation is equal to the square root of the variance. And this is equal to $78.40. So my expected number of sales would be that. And the standard deviation of the sales will be that. One more example to look at, a random variable. So a random variable has a mean of 60 and a standard deviation of 5. Find the expected value and standard deviation of 2x minus 10. So this is kind of just a very, um, I guess, abstract problem. There's no context to it. We can just call our random variable x. So here I know that the expected 
value of x, its mean is 60, and its standard deviation of x is equal to 5. So that tells me the variance of x will be equal to 5 squared, which is also 25. So if I want to find this, the expected value of 2x minus 10, that's going to be the same as saying 2 times the expected value of x minus 10, which is 2 times 60 minus 10, which is equal to 110. And for the variance of 2x minus 10, that's going to be equal to 2 squared times the variance of x. And we don't have that minus 10 there, the minus 10 gets dropped off. So that's 4 times uh, 25, which is equal to 100. That's my variance. To get back to my standard deviation, take the square root of the variance, and you get 10. So the expected value is 110, and the standard deviation is 10. So there's lots of problems to do with these. Um, key things to remember is just identify what your random variable is, anything that you're multiplying it by, and then anything that you're adding or not. And if that plus term isn't there, you can just ignore it. Um, and again, these are the very straightforward problems. If you were ever in a doubt in an exam, just go for it. Just use the formula exactly as it is. But here we're actually changing a variable. For instance, again, going from things like tacos to money, or in the question above, from rooms to income for a worker at a hotel. So give a go practicing some of these. Be sure to ask me if you have any more questions.